Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bartlett Arbor Supply. So today we're going to show you how to install your porter wrap uh, using a timber hitch on the tree. Very simple to use. Porter wraps, in my opinion, make a very big difference when you're trying to save a tree if you're just rigging out one piece of it. Um, instead of taking wraps around the tree and causing those mark, those scar marks, you'll be taking your wraps on the porter wrap and it saves your rope as well. Now to get this installed, you're gonna need a dead eye sling or a whoopee sling. In this case, we're gonna use a dead eye sling, so it's got a pretty big splice on it. We're gonna take the splice, insert it down low here on the bigger area. And now, what all we're gonna do is we're gonna slip the rest of the sling through it and you're gonna create a girth hitch. So we're gonna have it done there and now just locked off. And the thing here, now that that's insert, installed like that, we're gonna walk around the tree and we're gonna work our sling. We're gonna get ready to tie that timber hitch. Now for this video, I'm gonna tie my porter wrap around waist level. Now in a rigging scenario, it's gonna definitely be up to you to assess the situation whether you want your porter wrap low, you want it middle or high. Now this is gonna be up to you. Now you're gonna take your sling, once you've gone around the tree, take the sling, and you're just gonna take and make a bite on top right there. And that's, that's gonna be the first step to creating that timber hitch. Now, in my case, I like to keep everything as tight as possible right from the jump, so that's tight. And now for the timber hitch, it's just taking five wraps onto that same sling, minimum five. I like to go seven, or you can even go more. So we're gonna start by taking that extra bit of sling from the bitter end, and we're gonna start working our tucks. Now, with these wraps or tucks, key thing you wanna do is make sure that every single wrap or tuck is spaced out evenly, the same distances. And if you get into a gap here, like on a tree, where the sling is not gonna come in contact with the tree, that wrap will not count, so you're gonna have to take an additional one. So as you can see right here, this, won't, this wrap will not count, so we're gonna have to take, in my case, I'll take eight. You know, and we'll just keep going and going and going, getting this installed. Now you see that one maybe a little bit, longer, just make sure, space it out evenly, and we're good. And we're just gonna keep going and going until we get our seven tucks. And once you get your seven tucks, you can actually bring your sling and just kind of make a little tuck it so it's not so just sloppy-ish, if you can get stuck in there. But for this case, we're not gonna do that right now. But this is the porter wrap right here, as a finished product, wrap, wrap, wrap. And that's where you'll be taking wraps on this porter wrap, not on the tree. That has been the porter wrap. Thanks for watching. Check us out at bartlettman.com or Google us on Bartlett Arbor Supply.